is dancing with the meat. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, That's very unique. The famous Aitala. Buongiorno guys, it's Max Finestra. We are in the historical Atai Antakya. We're going for an insane street food tour of the city. I'm so hungry. Andiamo! Brava Usta. We order in our breakfast. A bit of salt or oh, lemon juice. Tie in. Tie in. Garlic mm. and green onion. I think it's going to give us a sample of everything. Zetiyak. Zetiyak. <laughs> Olive oil. The pomegranate molasses. Ah, <laughs> Beautiful. And of course, guys, for breakfast, we needed to start with an amazing hummus. Look, he put some olive oil on top. This is bakla, broad bean paste. This is Jevisli Biber, pepper with the walnuts and some pomegranate molasses on top. Let's dig in. I'm super excited. This is the hummus. Thick. You can really taste the tahini. Then, let's go for this beautiful bakla. Mmm. Oh. Ciò cos'è, Lusta? Bakla. Arica. So good. It's warm you can really taste the um, garlic the lemon this is very unique let me try with the bread now if you tell me one food that i can have every day is without a doubt almost to me it's super illegal what a wonderful hospitality. We came to a local bakery inside the bazaar. Look at what they're making. I don't know the name, I'm not that familiar. It looks like uh, La Majun, but he has another name. It's with cheese, you know. Oh, look at this bread with sesame. <laughs> and they put one inside the oven for us. Oh, this is us. Oh. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, Pemir. Yes, yeah. Oh, pull be bear. Paprika. Oh, paprika, yes. Pull be bear. Oh, it's really good. Antakya. Antakya. Okay, only, only from Antakya, this one. It's very traditional. Oh, what a lovely snack. So good there. Elin and Salik. Okay. Oh, good. Let's go and have chai with the gentleman. That he just offered us the snack. Oh, he's the owner of the shop. <laughs> oh, Giselle. Look at all the spices. That, you know, they're using their cuisine. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at what he gave us. <laughs> the speck with cheese and bread with sesame on top. Oh. Mm. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. Yeah, a bit of a nuttiness because of the toasted sesame on top. And the cheese is uh, unsalted, it's like a mozzarella. Mm. So kind of it. So tasty. So tasty. So Who's saying? Max. Yeah, Shirley. Shirley. So tasty. Mm. 
Look, the gentleman is making kadaif, which is used to make uh, kunefe. So kadaif is a finely shredded filo dough. Look, how cool is that? We're walking around the famous Uzun Charsha, which is the long market, the long bazaar. Oh, it's, it's so fascinating, there is a lot going on. Look, what is this yogurt? Oh, Kerebic, oh, uh, Mersin Kerebic. This thing is made from, in Turkish, is Çöven Koku. Literally translated as a gypsophila root, with the sugar, water, and then mixed. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, look at this cream. Mmm. Mmm. Ceviz. Ceviz. Kabak tatlısı. Oh, kabak tatlısı. Çatır kabak tatlısı. Oh, yeah. Oh, so juicy. Oh, güzel. Çatır. And this is very famous in Antakya. This is semolina elva, Atay style. Crumbly, like grainy. Oh, that's not bad. It's not too sweet. I kind of like it. Eh? It's good with the tea, I think, to dip it in. This uh, market reminds me of the bazaar in Istanbul. I think it has a lot of similarities, and there is a lot going on. <laughs> Urma Jevis. Okay. Sujuk. <laughs> this is called sujuk, which is made with the dates and walnuts. Oh, oh, with grapes, grapes as well. Grapes. I want to try this one right in front of the gentleman. Oh, it's so interesting. Oh. This is, it's like jelly and it's not too sweet. I tried once in the past, but it was really hard. Mm. Oh, so, so good. So, this is good. Oh, shakal. Bye. Okay, let's continue. We're going to check the preparation of the famous one and only Tepsi Kebab. Andiamo. Merhaba. Merhaba, hoş geldin. Teşekkürler. Using lamb, put in some salt, pepper. Oh, it's dancing with the meat. Oh, it's going to put it on a tray. Oh, put in some peppers and tomatoes. Onion. Oh, domat, soy, <laughs> tomato juice, and then put it in the oven. Fern. Okay, let's follow the guy. He's going to put it in the oven. Oh, how cool is that? On the other side of the street. Merhaba. Merhaba, usta. Merhaba. Oh, he's going to put it in the oven. Boom. Oh, taxi kebab is ready. Sizzling. <laughs> oh, let's go. For lunch, we came to a the famous Tepsi Kavocha to Shukurla. Let's scoop a piece of meat. Look. Oh, you can clearly see the chili, the parsley, and onion. Okay. <laughs> Buon appetito. Oh. Super tender. It's really got the veggie kick to it. From the pepper, the tomato, and the onion. It's lamb under the sand. Super juicy. Wow. You can't get wrong with Tepsi Kebab in Antakya. It was amazing. Oh. You must try the famous Tepsi Kebab. It's without a doubt, probably the one of the most popular dishes in town. Bravo, Usta. What's your name? Salga. Buda Hauch. 
Avuch, Avuch. yes, with carrots. Moro. With fermented carrots. Uh, Aj. Aj, tamam. <laughs> with a bit of chili. Oh, ciao, te shakurle. Ciao, ciao, te shakurle. Oh, that's really nice. So crunchy. Let's try the juice. Oh, that is nice. So smooth. Look, he's showing us a picture of when he wears the traditional Ottoman costume, Ottoman clothes. He sells the Meyan Koku Sherbeti and the Shalgam. So we're going to try the famous Cinaral Tekunefe. Okay, andiamo. Meraba. Cook on charcoal. That's very unique. Who is going to make it? Kadaif. Kadaif. Yağlanmış kadaif. Tereyağ. Oh, tereyağ? Yes. So batta, finely shredded filo dough. Where are you from? Italia. Italia. Sicilia? Roma. Roma. Very, very good. Eski künefe. Evet, eski tarih künefe. Evet. All natural ingredients. It's a very old method. On charcoal, they use natural butter, cheese from Antakya, unsalted. They use uh, water and sugar, so no syrup. Oh, look, this is the award that they won from TripAdvisor as the best künefe. Antakya successful künefe çınaraltı. Witnessing the making of the cunefe is once in a lifetime experience. Butter, butter and cunef. Yes. Oh, curry shake together. Mix. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Ciao, te shake usta. Oh, air dryer. <laughs> it's going to flip. Oh, holy! Ciao, Guzel. Ciao, te shakurle. Look, it's finally ready. Oh, look at the stringy cheese. Oh. <laughs> Mamma mia. Crunchy, a bit smoky because of the charcoal. Stringy cheese, hot. And they use natural ingredients. Let me try with a bit of ice cream. It's so good. I think this is the best cunefe I ever tried here in Turkey. Mamma mia. Ciao Guzel. Alina Salek. Ciao Guzel. The best. Mamma mia. That's really the best cunefe. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried something like that before. Battery, crispy, and the pistachio on top is just wonderful, really. This is insane. Oh, look at the cheese. And it's unsalted. It's like, a, you know, upgraded mozzarella. I think it was one of the best dessert I ever had. Okay, now it's time for more. Andiamo. our next meal we came to the famous Kurshulluan which is a 400 years old courtyard it's very beautiful full of history and look at what we have in look at the presentation this is Turkish coffee so with the lovely locum Turkish delight it's a bit strong now I'll have oh this looks like uh, the Jezeria we had in uh, Mersin 
Chimila. We're going to finish with the coffee and go for our next meal. Hello, how are you? Thank you so I'm Max, Mustafa. nice to meet you. Mustafa. What is the name of this? This is Borani. There's spinach inside, yogurt, salty yogurt. This is? The famous Ashu. Oh, it's <laughs> You like? Oh yeah, I tried and I liked it. There is meat inside, it? Meat, chickpea, wheat, spices inside. Okay. And uh, some paper inside. All right. This is oruk, it's uh, kofta. Stuff with meat. Yeah, stuff meat with bulgur. Uh, this is green wheat. Oh, green wheat, that's green interesting. Wheat rice. I recommend this. Okay. In Turkish, prasa. We use orange juice inside. Oh, that's interesting. It's orange juice. very, very delicious. And for dinner, we had to come to the famous Atay Sultan Sofrasi, one of the most famous restaurants in the city that they serve traditional Atay Antakya cuisine. So we be kindly introduced to their cuisine by the owner, Mustafa. Let's start our meal. This cuisine is all new to me. Mm. So sour. The meat is extremely tender. It's very lemony. Yeah, you got the spinach. A bit of pepper. It's interesting, huh? Okay, let's try the famous Ashur. Look at the consistency. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's nice. You can really taste the meat. Look. This is lamb. This is something that you cannot dislike. Now what I want to try is their famous Oruk. Oh, let's open up. <laughs> see the meat, all the spices. Here you can see the walnuts. Mm. Look, the walnut. A bit lemony, of course, got the crunch of the walnuts. It's a bit spicy. Mm. I like it. Now we're going to try our last dish leek with carrots cooking orange juice. Mm -hmm. It's a cold dish. Oh yeah, got a bit of a citrusy kick, also sweet. Somehow it's refreshing. The owner, Mustafa, just told us that the best way to eat this soup is uh, mixing it with some rice. Look at this beautiful rice. So half is just normal. The other one is made with young wheat, green wheat. Let's put on top of my rice. Mm. The green rice, it's it's, it's very unique. Yes. It's a bomb, it's like a perfect combination. Yes. Like atom. <laughs> but in Antioch, yes. we use some paper. Wait. That's spice. <laughs> That's fire. Okay. Yeah. How do you eat it? Just like this? Yeah, usually we eat like this. But should not be very you can see Like this. So Jack? Is it hot? Yolk? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Let, let's let's do the same then. Alright. Yeah, it's not spicy. Yes. It's it's okay. It's mild. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Amuzeva. Look at this beautiful dessert. This is kabak tatlasa, pumpkin dessert, so with pistachio and tahini. This is very unique. This is walnuts. They make walnuts jam with it. Mm. Oh, crunchy. Very unique, I would say. And now let's jump onto the. Kabak tatas, oh, tahini, and nuts. Mm, this is like the one that we tried before. Crunchy and very soft, like jam texture to it. Packed with tahini, 
and pistachio. Thank you so much. Good morning. This is uh, Antaki Hospitality. This building is very old, it's 110 years old shop. It's got an amazing vibe. Oh, rose water. Guys, I want to introduce you to our Antakia best friend. He loves Aitale. Amore. That is so sweet. If we couldn't leave Antakia without trying the famous Aitale. This lovely and elegant dessert with, as you can see, rose water, homemade vanilla ice cream and corn starch at the bottom. Mamma mia, it's perfect. It's got the floral taste because of the rose water and it's not too sweet. And I love the cornstarch that has a kind of a pudding texture and the ice cream is not too sweet. So mixed up all together, it's a perfect combination. Mm. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, share with friends and family. If you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload and see you on the next video. Ciao!